And talking of Hawaii, to travel now and with more flights than ever before, bringing airfares between Auckland and Honolulu down to record lows, the number of Kiwi visitors to Hawaii is skyrocketing. 68,000 in the last year and already up 29% in the first quarter of 2018. Yes, all of your friends are putting their Instagram photos from there, that is for sure. We are also going beyond the favourite Waikiki Beach, here to entice us to their islands. Miley Brown, Karishma Chalfin and Teresa Cosgrove. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Aloha. Aloha. And, Aloha. 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 And welcome. Uh, let's. You represent three of Hawaii's six islands, don't you? Tell me a little bit yeah. about where you're from. Well, I represent the island of Kauai, and we're the northernmost and oldest of the major Hawaiian islands. And we're known for our spectacular natural beauty and amazing outdoor activities. Teresa, I am the island of Hawaii. We are the southernmost, and uh, contrast to Miley's Island, we are the youngest and still growing. Mm -hmm. We have an active volcano and lots of beautiful scenery and activities as well. Right, active volcano, we'll talk about that in a moment. <laughs> Karishma. Aloha, I represent the island of Oahu and we're the second oldest and we're just vibrant town and country experiences, just fun. Oh, sounds so <laughs> yeah. exciting. You've really got me wanting to go already and you haven't even told me anything about them. Um, Miley, let's start with you. So Kauai, northernmost island, yes. what are some good places to stay? Oh, you can stay all over the island, actually, starting up on the north shore in the Princeville area. Then we have Kapa'a on the east side and Wailua, Lihue, and then down on the south shore and then of course to the west side. Lots and lots of great places to explore. So what are some cool things to do? Oh my goodness, we are definitely known for our outdoor adventures, our eco activities, so zip lining, ATV tours, cruising the Nepali coast, checking out Waimea Canyon, river kayaking. So Canyons and zip lining. Absolutely. That sounds so exciting. Yes, uh, Teresa, the big, the, the island of Hawaii, that's yes. what we call it, isn't it? Yes. Um, I think we should address the volcano in the room. <laughs> there is a active volcano doing some stuff there at the moment. It's, it how has that affected tourism? Well, the volcano's been active for about 35 years, and it's in a remote part, southern part of the island. And it's, uh, it's pretty much contained there. It does move around a bit, and it does shake up the ground a little bit. But it has not affected both of our airports. Sahilo and Kona side are... are up and running, everything else, all the activities are about 160 kilometers away from where the activity is. So it doesn't have uh, a negative effect on our tourism right now okay. and activities. And, That's and good to know because when you see things in the news, you're not sure how it's impacting everything. It's, it's, it's kind of disturbing. <laughs> so I would like to know what we should do then on the island of Hawaii. Oh my goodness. Uh, as far as uh, water activities, we have some of the most beautiful snorkel, some of the most clear waters in the world that are just uh, amazing for snorkel, not just during the day but at night with manta rays, that kind of thing. Stargazing is incredible. We kind of have a different kind of nightlife because not only are you uh, just having a wonderful time doing stargazing, but lava viewing at night is also incredible. Mm. So, oh, and then if you it. really want to be adventurous, get in a, uh, a helicopter with the doors off and fly over a lava <laughs> flow. That's mm. pretty, uh, pretty scary. I won't do it. <laughs> and there's black sand beaches too, isn't it? It's like the volcanic yes, black, black sand. sand, white sand. Uh, we call them salt and pepper, gray and white with the coral and the lava. I've seen uh, some of the manta rays at night. Um, a friend did it and it just looks absolutely spectacular. It is. It's now, amazing. Krishma, you're from the right. energetic island of Oahu, right. aren't you? Um, apart from Waikiki Beach, which we all know, we see yeah. all the time in movies and pictures, where should we go? Everywhere. I think that's the beauty about Thanks Oahu. Thanks for narrowing it <laughs> You know, I think there's so much to see and do on Oahu, and I like to tell folks if you want that vibrancy, we have, you know, Waikiki and Honolulu, um, the culinary experiences, the Bishop Museum to take in some of of our history, Iolani Palace, which was our royal palace, of course Pearl Harbor. But then when you're ready to really settle down and take a breather, we have such beautiful countryscapes on Oahu's North Shore. It's just gorgeous, of course. The Windward Coast is stunning, great beaches. And then we have the west side of Oahu, which is just this beautiful, rugged coastline again. Wonderful beaches, outdoor adventure. So it's really the best of both worlds. And if you wanted to learn to surf, where would be a good spot to go to? Waikiki is probably the best place to <laughs> learn how to surf. The waves are gentle, so if you fall off, you can get back on again. <laughs> and and just go um, it's something that I love. Uh, about whenever I travel is trying the local cuisine, Hawaiian cuisine. How is it and what should we be eating? Oh goodness, we love the local cuisine as well. <laughs> uh, for me, for the island of Hawaii, I would definitely suggest a stop at uh, a malasada shop. 
that's a mm -hmm. Portuguese donut, and I have a bit of a sweet tooth, so that's kind of my one number one. Mochi in Hilo is also mm -hmm. a wonderful uh, treat to try for mm -hmm. there. Um, and Kauai, well, actually, all of the islands, <laughs> okay, right? Yeah. Plate lunch is a big deal. Have yeah. you heard about no. this? Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of a, a mix between all of the different cultures that have come to make Kauai so you, Hawaii so unique. You know, you've got usually two scoops of rice, a macaroni salad, and then it's usually la la or kalua pig, and it's just a, a wonderful mix of, of kind of all the cultures yeah. that have made Hawaii yeah. so special, it's yeah. so good. I think, you know, the culinary scene is really coming into its own on all of our islands and on Oahu. And we're also home to the Hawaii Food and Wine Festival, which comes to us um, in October of every year. It's a week-long celebration of everything cuisine. Um, the downtown Chinatown Arts District is just vibrant. We have trendy eateries, craft cocktail bars. Um, so you have that nice mix of the contemporary on Oahu as well as the very traditional with the plate lunches or the local flavors, yeah. you know, so it's really great. And just quickly, if I wanted to see a little bit of culture while I'm there, where should I go? Your one top pick for each of you. The Kauai Museum on my island, it's so wonderful because it talks about, of course, the Hawaiian host culture, but there were very specific differences between the Hawaiians that lived on the island of Kauai as well, and so it, it really brings that all together and, and showcases the differences not only between the Hawaiians that lived on our neighbor islands, but of course those who are very specific mm -hmm. to the island of Kauai. For me, it couldn't be just one. It has to be four of the national parks because uh, that's uh, definitely a place you have to go and learn a little bit about King Kamehameha and his role on the island of Excellent. Hawaii. Excellent. And Karishma? Um, I'd pick two, actually. I would pick the Iolani Palace, which was the official royal residence built by King Kalakaua in the 1800s. And you can really see how, um, you know, elite ER royalty lived and they really took care of their subjects. And then you have the Bishop Museum, which really incorporates history and culture all the way from our royal era to modern day times. I could talk all day, but I've got to go and I ran out of time. So I just got to have to come and see Hawaii for myself. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, enjoy the rest of your stay in New Zealand. Hello. And you can go to Hawaii Tourism's website, gohawaii.com, if you need any more advice or inspiration for your next trip to Hawaii.